Hello there, my beautiful Leo friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome, my friends. My name is Ria, and I do these readings every week. Now, Leo, I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message Spirit has for you. Then I'm going to pull a bonus card from the Spirit Animals or deck and an angel number for you as well. So those of you that are watching today, if you've been seeing any signs through animals or insects, any kind of repeating numbers or angel numbers, this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So stay tuned for all of this, my beautiful friends. And just before I start, I wanted to mention that we have the 1-1 portal on January the 1st. It's a portal activation that we definitely want to take part in because this portal is bringing about brand new beginnings. In numerology, the number one is about fresh starts. It's about individuality. It's about new beginnings. It's about giving birth to an idea. And the number 11 is a master number in numerology. It's all about intuition. It's about insights, spiritually connecting to your higher self. So it's now time for us to activate this in our lives as we enter this brand new year. All right, Leo, let's pull some cards here and see what spirit guides want you to know during this 1-1 portal. So look at this. The Wheel of Fortune. Lucky you, Leo. So the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. It's bringing about a new situation. Some of you aren't going to be in the same place you are right now. Okay, so next year, this time, you're going to be in a completely different place because the Wheel of Fortune brings in a change in situation. Now, this is a major arcana card. This energy is prominent. It's in the background. Some of you are going to feel this intensely. Others, you're going to feel this subtly. All right, so Wheel of Fortune to start. Queen of Pentacles, look at you go here, Leo. What is going on in your life? What is it that you're creating? Where is it that you're going this year? What is it that you're doing? You can comment in the comment section below here and share with me, but there's a lot of growth, a lot of success coming into your life here this year. And this is you creating it, my friends. Now, what I want you to do here is to use your own intuition with my reading. So whenever you see my cards popping up on screen, I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition. Not only will this strengthen your intuition, but you will also receive your own messages. So Queen of Pentacles, some sort of opportunity that has come into your life here. And the Hierophant card. So look at this. This is interesting because I feel there's a lot of learning. There's a lot of growth through, um, through you connecting spiritually, um, channeling even, intuition, spiritual in insight, a lot of growth coming in for you this year around this as well. And I feel that um, if you're able to set an intention on the 1st of January here, Leo, I feel there's a lot of intuitive downloads you're going to receive here in the month of January. So Hierophant card as well coming through for you. This is beautiful, higher learning, higher knowledge. So before I start here, Leo, I just wanted to remind everyone that we all live a different life experience. These cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives. This is also a general reading. So those of you that are watching, if my reading isn't resonating for you today, please leave it behind. So I just feel that, Leo, this is going to be your year. I feel a lot of you are not only spiritually growing, but your, your belief systems, your values, all of this is going to change if it already hasn't. And I feel this is something that's, that's new that you're implementing into your life. And perhaps this is going to have it happen over time over the year 2024 here. But there's something new that you're um, picking up on here, uh, especially with the Hierophant card being present in your reading today, okay? So perhaps some of you are embarking on 
some sort of a spiritual business. Uh, maybe you are kind of exploring spirituality a little bit more this year. Uh, but I, there, I'm seeing a lot of growth here coming through that. Um, so let's start here with the Wheel of Fortune. I feel as uh, January 1st rolls around, you have this huge opportunity to really change your life. Okay, it's going to be up to you uh, to create this season for yourself this year. And you know what? It's the year number eight in numerology here, Leo. I feel for some of you, this is a power number. Well, it is a power number for everyone, but those of you especially that are born in the month of August, because that's the month, the eighth month, right? So you have this working for you. Those of you especially that were born August the 8th, okay? You'll have to share with me if you're born August the 8th. I feel we all have this power, but I feel that if we're able to pull and draw this in, especially with this portal being open, it's bringing about new beginnings, everyone. It's for us to pull this energy in, and anytime we have this energy available, I bring it to you on this channel because I want all of us to pull it in, draw it in, and utilize it in our own life. So this is going to come in as inspiration, as, you know, maybe you're feeling motivated to, to create something, right? This is what's turning that wheel in your favor, especially if you're feeling this energy coming in. And regardless of whatever is going on in your life right now, Leo, I feel there's a lot of beautiful things about to unfold. So I want you to believe in this. Believe, the, believe in the power of you. You are the one that's going to create this in your life. Nobody else is. It's going to be you. You are behind all of this. You are the magician. Okay, so know there's a change in situation coming up. This doesn't have to be something really, really big in your life. This could be something small that actually affects your life in a positive way. Okay, some of you are going to experience beginner's luck as well. So if there's something that you've been wanting to try or do in your life, this is the month to do it is January. And you know what? Learning and growing from that, applying the knowledge that you're taking in as you're moving forward. I feel there's going to be a lot of learning this year for some of you. A lot of taking in knowledge, expanding your wisdom um, intuitively, spiritually, but even like reading books, taking courses this year. This is really... Uh, going to work in your favor here you're you're going to experience a lot of luck leo so lucky you my friends now with this card i just am getting that like some sort of a shift i don't know if this is going to be in your workplace here or in your living situation uh leo but i'm seeing some sort of a shift where you're not in the same place as you were before so this could be a job change. This could be a career change. This could be you moving from one place to another, like a home, to a different country, to a different city. So I'm seeing a shift coming in for some of you, which this is going to totally change your life. Like I'm seeing you in a new environment, some of you. Okay, so this is coming through, through for you as well. And, and as this wheel shifts in your favor here, through you. Now, the other thing that's coming in here is your inner child. I'm getting this inner child energy where spirit guides are wanting you to think outside the box this year, especially as you enter January. Think outside the box here, everyone. To be curious, to explore the possibilities around your dreams. And I feel as you're doing this, there's some sort of an opportunity that is coming in. Uh, I feel for some of you are already sitting on this opportunity and you're already growing and you're going to see even more growth this year. So this could be a, a business, for example, if you have just launched a, launched a business recently last year, if you're starting one this year, I feel that if you were to implement the right system into your life, a right routine, um, nurturing the areas of your life where you want to see growth, you're going to see this growth this year. You're going to see the beginning of it starting in January. And this person, this queen, is in the place that she's in because she has implemented a system that works for her. It's like mom energy, right? So when you have a new child or when you have children, you have a schedule, a routine that works, that keeps everyone happy, right? It's that kind of energy that's coming in. So understanding what it takes to create what it is that you're wanting to see growth in. Uh, Leo, this is going to be very powerful for you, okay? I'm getting an Aquarius energy coming in right now, so perhaps you may have some help from an Aquarius 
or you have someone around you that is an Aquarius sign or spirit guides are calling you to embody that energy of the free spirit of uh, self-expression here and really tuning into that as you move into January here. And you utilizing the energy from that 1-1 uh, one, one portal that is opening up for us on January the 1st. This is where you pull those strings of abundance. This brings in new beginnings. It brings in insight, spiritual insight. Uh, it's giving you more intuitive power where if you're able to quiet the noise around you, Leo, you're going to be able to tune in. There's going to be guidance coming in. Lots of signs around you right now. So being aware of those signs is going to be very important because... You know, it's kind of like um, if I were to tell you to go out, it's I've heard this online before, the red car theory. So if I were to ask you to look around for red cars or if have you seen a red car, you're going to automatically uh, start seeing those, right? They're going to come into your awareness because it was brought up in your life. This is how those opportunities come in is going to be like how you're seeing those red cards. There's opportunities, there's blessings, there's signs all around us all the time. It's about recognizing them. And again, it goes back to that filter that you wear. So I want to ask you here, Leo, what filter or what lens are you wearing as you enter 2024? This is going to be very important. Are you walking into 2024 wearing a lens of positivity, a lens of love? Or is it something different? Because the more energy that you're putting there um, through that lens, right? It's all about what is it that you're focusing on? Because wherever that energy goes, where, wherever that focus goes, that's where the energy is going to flow. And there is so much growth coming into your life, a lot of abundance, prosperity. Some of you are going to build a life where you have this firm foundation that you, you created yourself, Leo that you're going to be super proud of and you have luck on your side this year so know that and own that power this is like boss energy very nurturing caregiver uh nurture energy here all all at once it's like mom right moms are wearing many different hats throughout the day this is you and you're doing it gracefully you're doing it beautifully there's no pressure right so i i feel this is going to be your year leo for you to really create the life that you desire. And you're going to be sitting on he here on this throne. Uh, just working your magic in your life. This is what I'm feeling here. And there's so much magic around you right now. So we have the Hierophant card. This is an interesting card because I feel that this is going to be a year where you're going to learn a lot, Leo. You're going to grow a lot through. This is self-development. And... You know, when we're shifting our energy, when we're shifting our own energy, ourselves, our personality, sometimes we're thrown out of our comfort zone. And I do feel that for some of you, you're going to be thrown out of your comfort zone. But this is where the most growth happens, right? It's not easy to change something in our life, especially we've created, if we've created some sort of a habit around it, right? So, for example... I'm starting yoga again, which I stopped for a little bit just because the holidays, it's been busy, right? And I, I started yesterday, actually, and it's it was kind of like, oh, no, I have to go to yoga. Oh, my gosh. And I'm not very flexible. So it was a it was a tough class, but I did it and I'm going to do it again today and I'm going to keep on doing it. And it's throwing me out of my comfort zone. Um, it's making me really uncomfortable, but it's only for an hour and it's for my growth. I really want to see something different in myself this year. And I'm going to do whatever it takes to actually do this in my life this year. And I'm using that portal energy. I'm really walking into 2024 on a new note. This year is all about abundance. It's about prosperity. And every single one of us has the opportunity to create this in our life, whether you believe that or not. And I want you to believe in this. This is where this learning, this is where building skill sets, getting out of your comfort zone in order to grow. And as you're getting being taken out of your comfort zone or you're pulling yourself out of your comfort zone yourself, you're going to learn and you're going to grow. And this is where that power comes through. This is where this higher, your higher self, you're able to tune into your higher self. And I feel for some of you, you're feeling the energy of your higher self coming in and giving you guidance here. So I really feel that there's the potential for some major growth here for some of you out there. 
Okay, so I, I really, um, if you're able to pick up on books, any kind of knowledge, turning your weaknesses into your greatest strengths this year, Leo, really making a point to actually do the things that it is that you've been talking about, wishing or desiring, taking the initiative and actually following through on all of these things, you're going to really see your life change in a big way here. Belief systems are going to also shift for some of you. Some of you are going to really grow spiritually here as well. Some of you are coming into spirituality now. Um, but I do feel 2024 is going to bring about a lot of different changes in the world. And I feel part of that change is going to be a lot of us tuning in spiritually, uh, moving in a more um, spiritual direction in a sense. It's kind of, and I really feel that we are all ascending here and this is a part of that ascension. And in the next few years, I really believe there is this uh, new energy coming in for earth. So over the next 10 years, we're going to see some major, major changes. And a part of these changes are going to be us learning so much new things coming into the world here and we're meant to evolve with this energy so there is this, there's this evolution happening here for a lot of us and i feel that growth for you the learning is going to be a part of it okay so i feel that this is your year leo so i would do a happy dance if i were you i'm going to now pull a bonus card for you as well so this is a spirit animals oracle deck Anything that I have missed in your reading today, I'm going to pick up on it through this card. Also, for those of you that haven't seen any kind of animals or insects in your life, this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So let's see what we get here for you. I can hear uh, a few of you already thinking uh, of what it's, you're saying something here. I don't know if any of you are saying um, words of something that you want to see coming in. So let's tune in and see what we pull today. All right, we're getting white raven spirit, trust in the magic. Look at that, Leo. I don't know if any of you have seen a white raven, a black raven even, or a crow. I feel that these all count with this. This is your confirmation today. And uh, trust in the magic. Okay, there's a lot of magic around you. I already mentioned this and it's showing up here on this card. We have the number 66 on this card as well. So I don't know if any of you have been seeing the number 66 anywhere in your life, but this is the number that you want to be aware of in the month of January. Those of you looking for timing, six days, six weeks, six months, also June being a very powerful month for you. Okay, so I just feel that uh, lots of is about to happen for you. So let's pull the interpretation. I'm going to read you both the oracle and the protection message for this card today. So white raven spirit, the oracle magic, uh, sorry, the oracle message is nothing in the universe is random for the intricate web of co-creation weaves together all events as and has done so since the beginning of time, Leo. Coincidences have meaning and the white raven spirit appears to remind you to pay attention to those synchronicities that might uh, that you might recognize patterns. Even the winds dance in a pattern, participating in the magic of spirit's plan for you. Align with the highest good and intentions and you will come to see that white raven is guiding you, an ally to you and a messenger from spirit. Align with the light and you will start to recognize that all is working together harmoniously in ways the eye can't see and the mind can't always comprehend. The universe is conspiring on your behalf right now, drawing you to the light and bringing you the magic and miracles that are your birthright. Now is the time to trust in the magic of the world that is everywhere and in all things. Pay attention to how things come together as if by magic and you will see the hand of great spirit arranging things in your favor. And I feel this is coming in strongly, like arranging. There's an arrangement happening here for you. The protection message for this card is, are you being distracted by the illusion of a chaotic universe? Deep in your heart, you know that the world is full of magic and White Raven has appeared to remind you that the ways of the world can cause spiritual amnesia. Stay awake and alert for spirit wants you to enjoy the miracles all around you. Remember the evidence of divine order can be seen anywhere. Ask for a sign and it shall be yours. Synchronicities happen all the time. So if you are in a time of challenge and feeling cynical, all you need to do is ask for a reminder. 
White Raven will appear to reassure you that all of this is leading to something better for magic is in the wind. So look at that. Embrace White Raven spirit. So I don't know if any of you have seen a White Raven. I've never seen one anywhere other than on this card. I've seen Black Ravens. I've seen Crows as well. So I feel that embracing this uh, Raven spirit and if any, any of these are around you, even feathers, Leo, feathers also count. So let's pull an angel number for you. Some of you have been seeing angel numbers in your life uh, right now. This is going to give you your confirmation and guidance repeating numbers as well. So look at this. We're getting sacred match, triple two. So I don't know if any of you have been seeing number twos in your life, but this is your confirmation here that you are in tune with a sacred match right now in the month of January, moving into the rest of the year here, everyone. So you're vibrating in harmony right now. And this is showing up in your reading here. This is why the Wheel of Fortune is uh, shifting in your favor. There's collaboration energy around you as well. So keep moving, keep going, keep creating balance in your life and stay balanced and grounded. Breathe through any kind of energies that aren't feeling good, right? Um, you're planting seeds at this time. And there's some sort of a union happening. So perhaps there's someone entering your life here, um, Leo, that is meant to come in and have you experience the world or experience a situation or have this experience with them in your life. And I feel this energy is coming in because perhaps this person is meant to show you something that uh, you haven't experienced before or seen before. Okay, so sacred match triple two. Any of you looking for timing, February is going to be a really powerful month and perhaps there's some sort of union happening in the month of February for you. Okay. So this is your reading. This is your message. If it uh, resonates for you today, Leo, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.